all right guys let's head on over to the play store and this is what the melon ds app will look like and as you can see it does set early access let's go ahead and click on install once it's done let's go ahead and open the app now it's gonna say no rom search directory specified go ahead and click on set rom directory now you want to locate your folder in your phone where you have all of your DS games located. Once you find that folder, go ahead and select use this folder. Allow Melon DS to access files in DS games, allow. And there we go. I have my DS games now installed into the emulator. And really from here, you're ready to go. You can start playing games right now if you want it. But let's go and check out the settings menu. If you go up to the top right, click on the three little dots and go to settings. Now really there's nothing you guys need to change in here. Everything at default settings will work fine with this emulator. Just remember that this emulator is in early access so not all games will play at 100%. So just to make sure everything is going okay with the game you're playing, you might wanna come down here to under video and where it says FPS counter position, select the position so this can actually show up because by default it's gonna be on hitting. So let's just do top left. So that way you can see what your FPS looks like while you're playing your game. And also since this is an early access emulator, there are no resolution upscaling, sorry to say. Not yet anyways, I'm pretty sure they're gonna bring that feature later. And now we can just go ahead and load into a game. And as you can see, as soon as you start the game, you have your on-screen touch buttons if you're not using a Bluetooth controller. And we can also see our FPS counter in the top left. Now, if you wanna rotate the screen, you just turn your phone sideways and it changes the layout. You wanna change it back, rotate your phone again. Simple as that. Now, if you don't wanna use the on-screen touch buttons and you have a Bluetooth controller connected to your phone, you wanna go back up to the three dots in the right corner, select settings, and you wanna scroll down until you see input and you wanna select key mapping. And go ahead and select your button you're ready to map out. Let's start with A, so just tap A, and then hit whatever button on your controller you want to be A, move down to B, tap B, now hit whatever button on your controller you want to be B, X, Y, and so on. Go ahead and map out all of your buttons and then you're gonna be ready to go with your controller. Now do we have our controller mapped out? Let's jump back into the game. Now since we're gonna be using our Bluetooth controller, we no longer need the on-screen touch buttons. So to get rid of these, you wanna come up to the top and you wanna look for a little hand pointing. Click on that and it gets rid of the touch buttons. 